Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Hedden. In the last episode, we got through the Grand Forge, having to craft ourselves a mithril gear in order to re-enter more of Volk to access the portal therein, which we can hopefully take to the Crystal Heart, which sounds like it is the target of the cultists' uh, invasion of the Iron Divi on the wow, Iron Orc Division and their potential allies here in this city. We're doing pretty well so far, actually, considering that we're playing on hardcore difficulty also, with, uh, as you can see, 132 bits of our shielding amulet still in effect, and good amounts of ammunition for all of our weapons as well. This is where, however, we're going to be hard-pressed to keep doing so well. We're going to be encountering quite a few enemies from here on out once we get into the thick of it. And this area should look familiar to you guys as well. We've been here before, though quite some time ago. I believe we had snuck into Volk this way earlier. Oh, or I'm wrong. Oh, or am I? Uh, this had led up to the portal when we were here last time, but we can't go to the door this time around. Let's see if we have any embers still on us to craft more fireball scrolls, which we did last time here. You might as well scrap, scrap all of them. I don't think you, there's any reason to wait uh, to do so. And who was this guy, by the way? All here on his lonesome. Was he writing something down? You notice an old note dropped by Taiti. It seems like the nearby cultists had found it. I've been doing my best to hamper this sudden invasion from the shadows. The ventilation sh Oh, we read this a long time ago. Let's read it again. The ventilation shafts helped me move around unseen. I've overheard the cultists setting orders to blow up and cave in the exits. They're locking down the entire stronghold. Bastards. Nevertheless, I have managed to get inside the crystal shop and move all the merchandise upstairs. I must delay them from getting their hands on our tech. I even trashed a few power cores, but they heard the noise, so I had to break the ladder and, and go. Lucky me, I found a warning scroll in the shopkeeper's room. Should my sisters need to break the ward? We had done that already. You look over what seems to be a report written in bloody demonic runes. When I was told I would be expected by a welcoming party here, I assumed they would be alive. How hard can it be to overcome a few measly orcs? God, at least the fumes from those incompetent bodies should help silence these maddening crickets outside. I must get to work. Cremating the dead was not my duty. I've already discovered a message left behind by an Iron Division survivor. I do believe she is still alive and bent on slowing down our advance at any cost. I must inform Mistress Nethereal as soon as I'm able, as soon as I'm recalled. This Reaver also mentions crystals in her note, so the Iron Division must be somewhat aware of our purpose here. I will commence my research on the Crystal Heart right now. But it will be harder without assistance. The plaza seems devoid of any life, yet I feel unsafe. Rumor has it that the Half-Blood has vanished from the battlefield. Nobody could find her corpse. But I worry too much. It's not like she would just barge in. And then we did. <laughs> Though that tells us that the assault on the demons has failed. Oh, uh, uh, yes. The, the assault on the demons has failed. The Forbidden Caves, Chapter 2, The Crystal Heart. Oh, we, we missed this last time. There is a proper reason why only the strongest of the Iron Division are allowed to access into the Inner Crystal Sanctuary. The Heart can alter the very flow of Hedon, and even what lies above it in the Overworld, where crystals don't grow. Its powers are vast and rightfully difficult to comprehend, for it is not one's knowledge that can unlock it, but their wisdom. If the heart were to be grasped by malicious hands, it could be used to bring unparalleled suffering, perhaps even the end of the world as we know it. It is thus our duty to protect it at any cost, for without it we would shatter it into pieces. Oh, so it's like the Triforce. The Lancers are the prime guardians of the heart, and the foremost custodians of the crystal technology. Although Earth Mothers and Witches have both contested the right to become keepers of the heart, it was the elemental gods themselves that refused them, and their unbalanced nature. The mothers wish to use the crystals to further their own magical powers and cure the world of all its ailments, while the witches seek to uncover new limits and shape the future. But good today may well be evil tomorrow. Truth is, a du is the judge. Are there any other notes that we didn't read last time we were here? We read about the casts. 
That's how to craft. You'll note there's no music here at the moment, everyone. It will be picking up once we get into the thick of it. And I think this is my second favorite or first or my favorite tune in the game that plays in this level. So those are the corpses of hostiles to us, not other Iron D Division orcs. It doesn't... Oh! No, we're not small enough to fit in that, I think. Yeah, we're not, we're not small enough to fit in that. All right, well, we made that mythical cog after they destroyed this one, so... Let's head on in. A guard post, I suppose? Or sentry post. I keep calling these guard posts. Guard posts would actually have guards here to stop you from going forward. Sentry posts would be noting who is going forward th to this area. Ooh. Don't mind if we do take the food. Ugh. Oh, and it was shat It was broken on this side as well, so no one in here could escape. Alright everyone, our approach. There are three ways to do it. The main entry path here, probably heavily guarded. There's a small hole there, which we could take. Maybe that goes into the same entrance. And there's another secreted path this way, which was the way I found and decided to take the first time I was here. There. I think we will continue to do what I had done last time. So let's go this way. Oh, interesting. Okay, they can defend themselves when we're attacking them from behind. All right, so at least worms can. We don't do enough damage with just our fists to kill them. just begin shooting. <laughs> Keep trying to yeah, shoot on, die, like, slightly on the side with the shotgun. I know that I'm going to miss the dog if I aim right directly at it. Whew, that was actually very tricky. But we didn't take a hit there, so... Awesome. And this gives us all the proof we need that the, that the enemies have taken all of Valk. If they've gotten into this part of, of the defenses as well. Ooh, sounds like there may be enemies here. <laughs> Can I, perhaps... I can, in fact, hit them from this distance with a gas grenade. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, grapes, delicious. Tim says after he laughs like a maniac after killing all those guards up, up there. I think there is a secret here as well. Let's see. Oh, no, there's not. Okay, nothing else up here. Was there anything to read here? A shielding amulet. Ours is already has more power than it does. And nothing else in this room. Sounds like it's aware of us. Which wouldn't be surprising given all the sound, uh, the noise we've been making. Ooh! Good ambush right in my face! I heard... Oh, that was that. I think that fell on the ground. So, yeah, I thought I heard a knife... I did hear a knife. There was another one right by our face. <laughs> this is the force that awaits you if you go in through the main doors here. A very well fortified position. I'm assuming the girls at the front line are there to stop you from advancing. And their shields, remember, will deflect anything you throw at them. Okay, we're back up to full ammunition for my bolt gun. I hear the dog. There's forge elementals there as well. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Sometimes when you destroy the forge elementals, urchins will come out of them. Was an, that was a knife, so there's a knife thrower way in the distance there somewhere. We've actually used quite a bit of our bolt ammunition. Let's double back and see if we left any behind. Okay, we used a hundred bolts in that exchange. Generally, in games I play, I'm a gigantic fan of any machine gun-like weapon. And this absolutely fits that bill. Remember, Tim, something threw a knife at you. Be careful. You might be wondering where on earth they're coming from. Well, some of these... Some of these, uh... Trees are a little translucent. Or, a or very translucent. Let's make sure... All the ones in this giant clearing are indeed cleared out. I'm assuming he's dead. He must have been running. I do like that the enemies want to, uh, to save their skin when their life gets a little too low. Hmm. This tablet seems to be instilled with an earth magic spell. You don't know how to read it, though. Woo! I 
do like when I'm able to hit the dog with the shotgun. I dislike when the shield girl sticks up on me. That knife went right past my face. Holy crap. Where did that come from? Wherever they are, they can see me. I'm apparently just blind. Like they were probably cooking dinner out here. Some delicious mushrooms. I guess some of the. Ooh, nice steam potion. Some of the orcs prefer to be introverts. I approve. Stay away from the city. Oh, game saved. All right. What do, why is it saved in here? A mortar of earth pigment. This can be used to make a scroll of nourishment. I realize I've had this key on me since yesterday. I'm running late for the console. Can you be kind and return it to the portal cave for me? If anyone scolds you, tell her it's my fault and I apologize. Hmm. Alright. Well, thank you for having it on you. We're probably going to need to access that area. Weird how fate works out like this. Let's look at the map for a little bit. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. I didn't... I wasn't 100% sure, but it looks like you automatically mark what's locked on your map should something be locked. So that's the core of the stone key. I can hear a ember in there. We don't have, well, we don't have a way to, de our, our grenades are not, uh, they're gas grenades, and they won't do damage to any urchin. going to be a pain. The guards have a good defensive position. But thankfully, we have a fantastic weapon for dealing with their fantastic position. That's good to know. There's also a forge elemental in there. What the heck? How did, how did that happen? How did you get through the bars? more in there. And it looks like we'll be entering there from another side because we can't get in there from this side. But we need a way to open that door first.
Okay, let's go back to the entry. Let's search for more bolts, since we used, again, almost another hundred of what we fought so far. We left only a few here. Since we have a mortar, let's double back and create a mortar. Since we have more of what it, it takes... Oh, an MLF Shadows was right out there. Oh, on the poor orc girl who died. I do like that they are wearing different outfits, depending upon, I suppose, what clan they were a part of as well. Can we get up there? It feels like we should be able to. We can get up here. That was a Crushbow magazine. A bolt. Uh, rifle mag and more goggles. You know, I've never used a school of nourishment before. I don't actually know what they do, so let's find out together. Nothing. <laughs> At least I did not notice anything happen. So my guess is it's like a heal. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky beam to cross. But I see those mushrooms I want. Ooh, I see those mushrooms I want as well. All right. So, we have a locked tower we can't get into. We have a sealed off, looks like, fort of some sort that we also can't access. So, there was one other path that we can take. Actually, there's two. We can now enter the big tree here. We can also enter, it looks like, a path around to the right. So, let's... Let's try the right path. Oh! Well, let's go there a second. Let's come down here first. this paid dearly for attempting to, to reach this place. But they have the numbers on their side. So we were the, where the Earth Mothers meet, I guess. This is a potion of stone skin, which slows your movement down, but I think increases your armor but makes you take reduced damage and uh, regenerates you over time. This potion will turn your skin to stone scales, greatly increasing your physical, blast, and nature damage resistance. Oh, okay. That doesn't do at all what I thought it did. All right, good to know. I guess we'll have that equipped by default. Cute! That's a very smug face as well. A little smirk on her. Worms here, then the enemies probably breach this area not through the front gates but through a tunnel they created. <laughs> Looks like a little butt to me, but it's not. Okay, another speed potion. Could always use that. This person was a bit messy. Of metal and cave rock, a study by Earth Mother Bendy. The parchment seems, or Bendai, the parchment seems to detail an alchemical concoction meant to prevent metal from rusting. Okay, it's just where all her experiments are, or and some of the ingredients she needs. But she's hopefully she escaped. I have a hunch though that she actually died.
frag fire can. Another shielding amulet, which we don't need. And nothing else in this place either. Very nice, spacious home for her. Should be using the axe a lot more because I, I just right now it's, it's beginning to occur to me how little ammunition I'm beginning to have. Got a potion launcher loaded with a few acid potions, so now we have two types of grenades for the acid launcher. It can hold actually both of them at the same time as opposed to just one of them. As well, okay. Hmm. This tablet seems to be instilled with an earth magic spell. We don't know how to read it. And we can't proceed through this gate until we actually learn how to read that Earth Magic spell. And I don't think that's held in this place. We haven't missed any of the passages here. So I don't think we have. Alright, well, we can't actually do anything in there yet either, because that leaves only one potential path for us this way. That was too high. I just did a bad. I, uh, I'm sorry, everyone. I, I actually manually reloaded there. I am so sorry. Uh, I will try never to do that again. Instinct took over at that moment when I, mean, I realized I had enough time to actually reload between sh between being sh uh, fired upon. Uh, I also used one of our elemental rings right there because I saw the two forge elementals and was not sure I'd be able to do that fight without taking a hit from them. But we did take a hit from them. <laughs> Looking pretty good so far. That we're about to have 200 life. What is... Come on, hardcore difficulty. You gotta be a little tougher than this. Maybe I should have played on an even higher difficulty setting. <laughs> of course, I'm taunting the game right now. Because uh, it's gonna get really difficult all too soon. Wow, we don't even need any crushbow ammunition. The last page of the otherwise uninteresting logbook has been written over by someone else. The cultists. They somehow corrupted the portal. This black slime, what the hell is this? Back at the forge, we stepped in right after Dura and the others, but then this flash of light, and something felt so off with the portal. And as we woke up in the grove, Arva and what's left of me. The gateway closed up suddenly and sliced my leg clean off. I'm done for. Arva left to search for the key to turn the damned thing back on, but she's been away for too long now. We can only pray Dura and what's left of the squad had better luck than us. Come on, you bastards. Come get me so I can send you back to the pits of hell. Poor girl. She did not make it. Return the vine keys after use. Well, we can't, actually. We need an earth key to enter that door. Okay, something's had the power restored. Weaver Headquarters Auxiliary Generator. So that must be for the fort we were at earlier. That's where that black slime 
this is the this is the stuff here. Look at these eggs as well on it. The great sound effect as well of the eggs just uh, pulsating. Now we can't destroy the eggs. We're not allowed to attack them. I'm sorry, you, you can attack them, but it does absolutely nothing. Oh, look how it covers the trees as well. Oh, gross. I love it. Reminds me of Creep from the Zerg. You can only build structures upon the Creep. Thanks, Zans. It's been a long time since I played that. Hello! Look at this! A secret with a few power shards and another what looked like Amulet of Shadows. So everything out here has been searched, as far as I can tell. We gotta go back. Oh, hello! We should use some of our crush bolt ammunition, since we're finding ammo for it and we can't take it. I mean, I've been relying on my non-explosive weaponry a little too much. <laughs> Game auto save for us, perfect. Sacred eyes screaming. Just checking if we could actually leap up there. This we can. Hello, so, some uh, frag fire ammo over there, and I have no ammo in my gun. Let's fix that. Oh, hello. Nice attempt. That is an acid round. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but I saw the opportunity and took it. Let's get some more ga oh, gas grenades. Oh, uh oh. Sounds like. having fond memories of Hexen with that gas. I think I, yeah, I played through the game, if I recall correctly, for my channel, using uh, a cleric, who has perhaps the best weapon in any video game ever, a uh, Wraith Verge, if I recall correctly. You hit the enemy with a, with a Wraith that gets fired from it, and it splits off into several Wraiths, and they Scream as they run around tearing apart the enemies. It's an amazing weapon. His other weapons were just so-so. <laughs> Ray Fridge was amazing. I wonder if we get something like that in this one. Oh, you're panicking. I should be using our axe when I get a chance to do so. I heard the sound of a friend. Hello, little guy. Don't worry. I, I can't, I don't want to kill you. So we're gonna, gonna put you over outside. I feel too guilty killing those little things. They're, they're so adorable. We are leaving a lot of bolt ammo around, so... Oh! Oh! I thought that was an outline of, of a, something secret. It was just a... just a mop. Well, let's be sneaky. Wouldn't be an FPS in modern day without crawling through vents. Hello, that sounds like a power source. 
And it is, and the game will auto-save again for us. I like her! I like the giant warhammer she's got. We oh! We unlock something. There's a bunch of worms waiting for me somewhere as well. That summer was right here. Shard. I haven't even been using them. I gotta I gotta start using those a lot more often. We can only carry five of them. Now we did not thoroughly search this, so let's go back and take this passage. That's a dead end, is it? It is. Okay, well, so much for that. That was that was quick. That's good. We could always use more power shards. That looks like ammunition, but I don't think it is. It's supposed to be a tool, a tool set. Well, let's keep exploring. Oh, someone didn't make it in here. Oh, they did make it in here, but that was as far as they did, in fact, make it. What the heck? You're a tough bugger, aren't you? He was like a little mini boss. What was he writing? Now that these hanging cyan crystals have been destroyed, the nature's grass will begin to weaken. At least if my conclusion, based on what I've researched here, is correct. If so, expect the portal's power source to help expand the corruption with one less obstacle in its wake. However, we'll have to deal with the Half-Blood first. I understand that the cultists are in position right before the massive orc tree. As for the goblins, I was in a handful of crawlers after them. Rather, I feed them the fools that failed to slay these pesky dream runts. Blocking the way to the northern wing did nothing but delay us. They should have realized you can't trap them in a place sprung with ventilation shafts. <sighs> Sounds like there's something back here, doesn't it? Oh, I'm only allowed to have one of those scrolls? Well, let's go ahead and use one. I think that maps out everything for us. Yep, it does. The entire map gets shown, along with where the enemies are located therein. Oh, it even shows secret places, I think. No, those are places I haven't been before. It might still also show secrets. Okay, nice. I never used that scroll either. On Hidden Knight I, difficulty, I'm finding it, uh... Well, I don't know what to say. It's easy. <laughs> I am lying. Uh, it is It is not easy. It is fun. Uh, but I'm not using items as, as often as I thought I would. But that was the case for me in Hexen as well. According to this, there's an enemy here. Or is there? What's here? Oh, it's ammunition! Oh, interesting! Okay, it shows where ammo drops are of some sort, not where enemies are located. So there's something- oh, a time- oh! Oh, it's everything gets displayed as those triangles. I knew I didn't have a good shot. I don't know why I took it. You know, to, 
you're taunting the game a little too much. You did pretty poorly against just those two girls there. I don't know why I missed so often. Maybe because then you're not as good as you think you are. Oh, hey! A map of this area. I think. I think it's a map of this area. The demon blood lives! And she is here! She slaughtered our entire force in the plaza. And knowing how competent our worshippers have proven themselves to be so far, I'm certain that she is making her way towards our goal. Do not let her reach the portal here. Reinforce the main gates. Have a barricade built. Send the strongest of your Iron Maidens to hold the line. Should they fall, the Hathlon will meet her end before she reaches the portal. I prepared an ambush. Master Thetis. Well, Master Thetis looks like it didn't work, did it? Oh god, it scared me. Two crystal pieces. Some other... Oh! Looks like they destroyed what was supposed to be up here and took out these crystals. Make sure to turn the auxiliary power on before you shut down the generator for any maintenance work. I don't want to hear any more complaints from the archive curators getting stuck in their office because the doors stopped working. Just talk to the Earth Mothers to let you in the portal cave until we can get one of our own vine keys. Boss. Uh, wow. She was wounded. This looks like a medical treatment room. And they just killed her. Here are some of the new green crystal plants we have grown. Not only will they heal and soothe any wound, but even extend the patient's vitality, should they not find themselves in, gra in a grave condition. Bear in mind to not remove the plant from the soil, or the crystal will harden and become inedible. We will send in more crystals as we grow them. The spell we use is yet to be perfected. Mother Bendai. Or, or Bendy. Ah, like the skull up there. Alright, so let's sneak through this one. Oh! The triangles do show enemies, and... Alright, so triangles are anything else that's not us. Hits. <laughs> now we don't have to go this way, but this is where the water passage will lead you to. If you do go that, if you did take the water passage. Since we're here, we'll explore it. How? That's how. You can blast that open from the other side as well and flood the area and they kill everyone inside of it immediately. As usual, we're very lucky that there's any breathable air up there. And I should always be running while underwater, as it were. I want all these crystals. Can we take this one? No, we cannot. There was an elemental ring down there, though. I didn't find that last time. Except for the one we used earlier. Remember that Elmother Wings can also be used to extend your oxygen in underwater areas. Okay, now where am I going? This way. Since we're here, we may.
may as well explore back up to this spot. I don't know if that was everything, but I think it probably was. Let's see. We got the stone key, I think. Looks like there's something we might have left in there. Let's double back. And check very quickly. Why do I have the Minotaur thing selected? Ooh! Oh god, I almost ran over you, little mouse. Those three, those three triangles. Oh, okay. No, we didn't leave anything here. All right, sorry about that, everyone. All right, let's let's get out. We have that stone key, so we can go ahead and open that tower now. Yeah, remember there are urchins in here. Since we opened the door... She will be able to... She will now also be able to open it. I don't like hearing that. Look how the acid oozes down the walls next to us. That's pretty amazing. Well, I, don't, I really don't want to go up there with the way that it's it's up there. But I don't think we have a choice, everyone. I don't hear it. No, it immediately comes and looks at me. There we go. Is that the last? Now let's listen. All right. I think we got it. We got a frag fire can as well. And Book of Earth. This should let us now read the earth spells that are strewn around. We're almost at 200 life. Awesome. Despite taking a few <laughs> random hits. Feels like there should have been a secret up here. Actually, but where would it be? It can't it couldn't have there couldn't be one up here in the tower. Actually, Tim, there could be one. We just don't we just didn't see it. If there was one up here. Checking really quick, everyone. There is one here. We can see the door there. So there must be a switch for it. And there it was. Acid rounds for our grenade launcher. I don't know if it's a well-known piece of uh, Tim lore, but Tim's favorite weapon in any FPS game is a, a grenade launcher. 
I generally do really well with, with machine gun weapons, but I really like grenade launchers. I'm generally, once I get a feel for how the grenades bounce and the angles I need, I'm generally really good at using them. A notable exception to that is the grenade launcher in Unreal 2, which felt so short range. It was extremely difficult to use that weapon. Missed everything with that, Tim. Darn you. Almost out of gas, so we're gonna stick to acid grenades for a little bit. But we should really use my bolt guns if we have so much ammunition for it. So let's try out our new earth scroll, shall we? Our book. There we go. Oh, we don't even need those. Our life is almost at 200. Those give you like about 15 or so uh, more max life, but we don't need it. So we'll just let it sit there. No one's going to talk about how I missed that short-range axe throw, but it missed two of its own axe uh, knife throws. We're also not going to talk how the picture of the cute girl vanished into a different picture now, either. Maybe that's the Wraith who's helping us. What's, what's her name again? Abhoath, I think. I'm thinking that one uh, rack is actually a ladder. <sighs> Wait, I'm lost! <laughs> I'm lost! Where do I go? This way. Or, or not? This way. Interestingly, she can't. We can't cast. We can cast magic spells if we have the book to translate the spell, but we can't use the book to crit to summon a, to spell cast ourselves. I kind of wish it wouldn't automatically change to that weapon. Oh, there must be another Earth book? Okay, well we had one already to get us in here. We've dealt with the last intruder. She's managed to get all- wait. We've dealt with the last intruder. She's managed to get all the way up to the second floor, but she couldn't get past the root gate. Still, neither can we. We tried everything, but the roots simply regenerate faster than we can damage them. We know they're using the tablets to recite the spell that grants them passage, but that bitch guarding the library must have hidden the tablet before we got here. Whatever lies on the floor above, it must be valuable to them. Perhaps it's the very key to the portal controls. Nobody else has found it, right? We need to find that darn tablet, and I need aid. The green skin couldn't have had much time to hide the tablet after hearing us warp and commence the attack, so I assume it must be on this floor somewhere. I had the cult to search the place, but to no avail. I need you to send more thralls here so we can cover more ground. 
but how pleased will Mistress Nethereal be to hear we've gotten that portal running? Trust me, that tablet must be here. A hint. I'm also going to reload here, everyone. Since there is so much bolt ammunition, we should not feel the, uh... The sting. I say so much bolt ammunition as the sting. Uh, we should not have too much trouble with bulk and ammo, with all that bulk and ammo up here. However, apparently I was wrong. There's only three things up here, so... That sucks for me. Shaping the Caves, Chapter 2, Magical Quakes. The tablet proceeds to describe a spell, but does not contain any useful incantation. <sighs> so there is somewhere around here a tablet that we need to open the vines that were over in that direction. Where was it, you might ask? If you listen, you will find out. A very well-hidden book, by the way. I would not have noticed it was sticking out of the bookshelf at all. Oh, but this doesn't have it? Or maybe it does. It sounds like we just scribbled something down. Or it sounds like something opened up. Something opened up. Some more health crystals that we don't need. An amulet we don't need. And some grenades. Bolt, uh, it says bolt mag. Oh, a bolt magazine for our crush bolt. Acid potions. Hellfire can. We don't actually need that. You know what? How about this, everyone? To make up for the fact that I reloaded downstairs, and I think for now on I really shouldn't, we'll waste this on three ammo. All right, we got the earth key. I think this is what we need to actually open up the uh, door to the portal room. I don't really need that, but we're not, not coming back. Or we might if we need an amulet, but I don't think we will be coming back because I know what's happening up ahead. Any, I can't think of any games I've played where they where reloading the ma the gun wastes the magazine now that I think about it. I'm positive there are games that actually do this, but I've never played one that does so. If you guys know of a game where that's the case, please tell me. I'd be curious in knowing how many games out there have that mechanic. Look at them with these little, these little singular ambushes, but they should have been stronger enemies if they really wanted to do this to us. Or maybe not if I'm going to miss so frequently. Okay, we've been to all those places already. You should teach your people to not breathe so heavily. By the way. <laughs> Cultists. People make a lot of noise. You know, does the game show me? It does. Okay, so the map is permanently upgraded with where things are. I think. Yeah, 
Okay, she's gone. She's gone. That uh, is a forge elemental. Okay, we're gonna sprint outside. Here we go. The potion used. I will kill them all, but I need to get out of that death trap. Oh, or maybe we won't kill them all. I feel like that's a mistake. Never mind. <laughs> they can stay there after all. Let's just move on. Sound of the four Angry Forge Elemental is all I needed to hear to convince me that would have been a mistake had I stuck around. But I am going the wrong direction. We need to go back to the tree, to the right. Now, if the game doesn't autosave before this battle, I am going to save it. Uh, I'm going to do a manual save here, because this is going to be tough. Oh! The game's letting you know that uh, things are about to get real when it turns off the music. I thought that was a health uh, fire can. So, I'm going to place our... I'm going to place... Our turret. Okay, it did save for us. Let's power on the portal. And join our sisters. Although we did hear that there was something wrong with the portal, hopefully it will have... Whatever happened to it will no longer be happening to it when it goes active again. Sorry, there's no talking. Let's slow down time a bit. Toss some gas grenades. Oh, or acid grenades, I suppose. Oh, that's another dog. Let's make sure. It has a hard time catching me. There's another, um, I see it, Forge Elemental. So for the first time in a while, we've had now less than the full armor. Oh, God. There's a lot of them, but they're mostly weak enemies.
that went extraordinarily well. Let's make sure we didn't, we're not leaving anything behind before we leave. It's mostly the ammo I'm concerned about. Though we did, we were going to leave our axe behind. Let's not do that. I'm interested in the frag fire cans. Those would be dropped by the by the cerebrus or cerebus, but I don't see any. I think there were only two of those dogs. All right, not bad. Our turret is now destroyed, unfortunately, but it served us very well. And I don't know how we managed it, but we actually still have positive armor. We must have ran over an amulet that was out here that I did not notice. And we only had to use one time shard. All right, everyone. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Time to head to the Crystal Heart. Almost everything killed. Almost all the items found. Almost all the secrets found. Not bad. Entering Errant Signal. Zhang glanced back at the pile of dead cultists littering the portal cave. If it wasn't for her shielding amulet absorbing the energy surge, her body may well have been among theirs. She could only hope that the strange dark mass surrounding the portal would cease to grow now. The cultists must have thrown in all they had, but nothing could stop her now. Taking a deep breath, she walked into the way gate, an eerie force snatching her entire body into a twisted spiral, dragging her across unknown space. Suddenly, a red light flashed through the noisy wormhole. The half-orc winced and gasped, but before she could even wonder how the cultist's corruption might have affected the portal, she was blinded by a pulsating white glow. Much to her despair, the waygate spits her back into the grove. She reaches around, but all her gear seems to have vanished. Something must have gone terribly wrong. Everyone, we're going to have an awkward cut for the next episode, but I'm going to wait to start it in the next part, so... See you guys then.